it's your crazy fangirl shiny. Hope you guys are having an amazing day. It's been a while, guys. I hope you guys have been well. Today we're going to be watching the first episode of Moon Knight. It's been a while, guys, and the first episode is called The Goldfish Problem. Um, so super excited for the show. I again don't know much about Moon Knight. Um, I did a little bit of deep diving into who he is, just like about like how people talk about the mental health aspect and even the cultural aspect that some people have had, I guess, controversy with. But um, I'm just here to watch this show, um, honestly. I think the only show that I really am very, like, heavily, like, really upset about is the upcoming Miss Marvel show, and I think a lot of people will understand that. But I will, when it comes to it, we will talk to talk about that show. About Moon Knight, um, I know, obviously, about that mental health aspect that it's D.I.D. he is sort of, like, going through in terms of this particular story. Um, it is something that I think everybody is sort of going to be introduced to properly in this show. Some not experience, personal experience, but I know a lot about D.I.D. Um, so I, I'm excited to see how they represent it in the show um and even just the characters i'm so excited for moon knight for mark um and i think it's steven from the top of my head like the other sort of alt so um i'm very excited to sort of learn about these personalities especially mark because obviously that is moon knight but anyway let us jump right into this show i'm very excited and yeah i'm ready to be surprised and hopefully be entertained but before that please remember to like subscribe and comment if you enjoyed this video but also keep up today with all my other reactions to more TV shows, movies, and video games. So without further ado, let's jump straight into it. Copyright! <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot he's in this film. Not film, sure. <laughs> I've been trying to avoid like all the TV spots and stuff. Oh, okay. Oh no, please don't. Why? Why? Why are you- why? Just why are you doing that? Already. <laughs> I feel like there's gonna be so much gore and stuff, I hope, in this show. Um, like, the Daredevil shows and- oh! Oh, this is- oh! Ah, there's our man. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh wow! What a great shot! What the hell, man? That's crazy. Mm. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh my God! Where are you? Surrender the body to Mark. Sorry, what? The body? What? Ooh, interesting. Oh no! Oh yeah, totally not sus at all. Oh, there's a guy right there, buddy! I don't know who his character is either. Is he like some sort of like messiah like figure or something? Um, hello? Oh! Did he just drain life from her? <gasps> yes, he did draw life from her. Ooh, interesting. Is he like a vampire? Okay, no, probably not. <laughs> no, uh oh. Oh. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Dude, the copyright for dis- for- why? Why are you using all the copyright songs? <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> I love this already! Oh my god, put your- oh! Oh. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. 
Oh, Jesus! Damn. This is the, the... This is really good! Oh! Oh! Dude! What the heck? You look handsome! Very dashing. Maybe do the hair up a little bit. Tussle it a little. No, you don't look like a knob! Uh. It doesn't change the fact that today is Sunday, which means lose my number. Cheers. Ooh. Yeah, I think you love her. Yeah, she's got a great sense of humor. Oh? Hmm. Interesting with the phone call with the mum. I wonder whose number he's actually calling. If it is the mum or if it's like somebody else's and it's just no one's picking up on the other end. <laughs> oh, we've all been there, buddy. Don't worry. transition what the hell dude what what uh, oh what the freak oh no uh, dude wait i need a minute to breathe and we're all right we're nearly near the end there's only 12 minutes left holy crap dude like this show like what a ride <laughs> already and it, the transitions so unique and it fits this show so well um especially i feel like it's good because it's good for the people who obviously know who moon knight is um and sort of know his backstory and for those who don't know like me uh literally going on this ride with steven and just being like tw like twisting and turning into different directions um with this and i do like the way that they're handling the did so far um i am not an expert in terms of that sort of mental health, but I do know, um, I've heard a lot of, um, sort of, how, what's the word, um, people who have experience with DID, they have spoken to me, like, I ha I know people who have it, um, and I've heard stories about it, I've tried and researched it a lot before watching this show, just so I have an insight into what it's like, um, and in my opinion, I think they're doing it very well. And especially because it also sort of leaves the the viewers confused as well as to what's going on, where are we? And I've heard that people have sometimes sort of woken up very confused about what's happened. They've blanked for a couple of months or even weeks um, or even just a few days. Um, and I feel like it's doing that pretty well in terms of that case. Um, but we will go back and talk about more of it at the end of the episode because I want to know what's going on. Uh. Oh, it's not deciding. Let him go. <laughs> oh, damn, the way that Oscar's been fantastic so far. I'm enjoying his performance. Oh, what? I love that. This is so good. <laughs> this is so good! What the hell, dude? Oh! <laughs> oh! oh! Nice. Oh! Oh my god! Run! <laughs> oh! Mark! Oh. You're not gonna die. 
Let me save us. Oh wow, the hieroglyphics at the back. Oh my god. Oh. Ah! Cool. Oh my god, these credits are beautiful. Oh my goodness. Holy shit, dude. What a fantastic first episode. I'm honestly so speechless. Like, as a first episode, honestly, that blew me the f away so much. Like, what? What an absolute introduction like that was so good it leaves you wanting more and just it blew it out of the park completely like honestly out of all the marvel shows that was like the best i think it's mainly because we don't know anything well not everybody i won't speak for everybody but for me i don't know anything about him only very few details because i want it to be sort of like a surprise this whole show unlike the other shows I do know all these characters um but this was like fantastic um and brings very much it reminds me very much of like Daredevil um all those like old Netflix shows sort of vibe and just oh like I don't know dude like I know I knowing the internet there's always always going to be backlash which is totally okay people are going to have opinions but holy crap like, the director, I need to find his name. What is his name? Oh, I think it's Mohamed Diab. He, he's directing the whole series, I think. But, dude, like, oh my, like, I, I'm speechless. Because just, like, it, it it's so good. Like, the first episode to come out, off of it is just, it's great. It introduces you to who Steven is. Um, It gives us a little hint into who Mark is. And just... All the transitions, it gives us um, and also an uh, introduction to Arthur, um, Arthur Harrow, um, Ethan Hawke's character, um, but not too much. You're just still left in the dark about who he is. And even Steven, Steven we only get little bits of, obviously, because, and I love that, because it sort of plays into the sort of, like, idea of the DID, um, and also just... Oscar's performance like that's the thing like it just like it switches so it's so different and it feels like two very different characters that was what people were very worried about um especially because like people were like will it work like will be be able to like tell the difference but immediately it's it reminds me very much of Christopher Reeve's Superman like how how like just little details help so like example like the physical like body language um as steven like being slouched very like oh like a little bit low um and then with mark he's very like s like very big stature and he's like confident and just you know he wants you know as he was saying like i want to be in control very confident in the way he speaks um and just wow like like i loved it it was so good and very horror-esque there's very like a lot of horror like vibes in it and i love that um very action-packed already for the first episode and already they've given so much that was in the trailer so i'm like i'm surprised by it um and it was so it was great i loved it it was just like what what's what <laughs> Like, honestly, like, I just felt like it went so fast, and just because the the filming was so good, transitions were absolutely incredible, so great job to the editing team. Cinematography is so good in this show. Um, I think a lot of people have been talking about that aspect in terms of the Marvel Universe recently with the release of the Batman, I will not lie, Greg Fraser, Aussie pride right here because he won an Oscar, so he's an Oscar winner, and he's from Melbourne, so... Good, good job to him because he was he was fantastic. I mean, his work was absolutely amazing, and a lot of people are sort of like, why doesn't Marvel bring like sort of like all those colors in, and also the black point, etc. That's a lot of the conversation happening at the moment. But this, it it already like has improved so much in terms of that, um, and I love that. Like I always love like the shadows and how much depth you can get from that, but also how much a scene can live from it, but also just the 
incredibly unique camera movements in this show already it it sort of like makes you like you're moving along the story with steven but also you're moving with the camera if that makes sense like especially that one scene in the museum when he's like um like going through the main thing and you just think it's an overhead shot but then he's like 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 steven turns and he's like hello and the camera quickly hides like fantastic like you do not expect that to happen but just the little details and they just oh it's already got me very excited for the next episode like I, because that's why today i was like i honestly i forgot that moon knight was coming out just because there's been so much happening at the moment and i was like oh yeah Lala. and i was like holy crap oh my god the, the show's coming out today so i like quickly washed my hair did my face um and then i was like oh my god if it's a double episode you know that sort of thing sometimes it gets like a, a lot when it's a double episode but i would have gladly taken another episode but we're not this is the one time we're not getting a double episode for the intro while well, i think it is but I would have loved another episode, so <laughs> it was, but I think they know, they know what they're doing, so they're not giving us that second episode, because I think they know that they just want to hook us in and leave us until next week. Wow, like, what? Like, I, 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 got, I can't, like, what? Like, I'm just so shocked, like, how good that episode really, act, like, actually was, like, I'm actually, like, revved for it now like I'm excited and I won't lie I, I think like my hesitation was just because there has been a lot of Marvel shows and even Star Wars shows sort of coming out so I did feel the burnout which is why I sort of disappeared from my channel for a bit because I just wanted to take a breather from sort of like making videos for a while um and that's why I was like you know just relaxing and that's why I was a little bit like oh like it's sort of starting again but Holy crap, guys. Like, this already? Like, okay. I gotta stop because otherwise I'm gonna just keep mumbling. But leave... Oh my god. Just... Yeah. Just what? Like... So thank you guys so much for watching this. I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Please give it a like, subscribe, comment. And tell me your thoughts down below. For the first episode... Uh, episode of Moon Knight. My apologies, I'm all over the place. The goldfish problem. I'm gonna shut up because otherwise I'm gonna be here babbling about how already this show has hooked me. Um, I'm gonna probably go and talk on Twitter tonight about it, but for now, I'm gonna shut up because whew, that was great. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching this, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Crazy Finger out. <laughs>